You ever been sitting around, nowhere in particular, um, a little time on your hands, nothing to do, nothing to read, okay, and you're just looking for something to kill the time, so you reach over and you, hey, I got a telescope. Okay. You know you have. Okay. Well, it is, it does have properties of a telescope, so let's take a look. So the primary one, and when you think telescope is magnification, okay, um, Unless you have a really high-end brand of toilet paper that I'm not aware of, it's probably not a lens in here. So uh, magnification is going to be 1.0000. Okay, okay. There's no flaws in the lens, so you know that's it's a flawless lens. You get a flawless view. There is an issue though. The biggest issue is what's called the apparent field of view. Okay, if I'm looking here and I look to the left side and I look to the right side. Okay. That delta, that, that angle is, uh, this is about 8 to 10 degrees, it's very narrow, okay? Obviously looking through um, with my eyeball, now eyeballs tend to be about 135 degrees, apparent field of view from that part of your nose over about 135 degrees, 10 degrees, which would you prefer to walk around in full apparent field of view, okay? Telescopes, the moment you put your eye on an eyepiece, you're going to see less than your full field of view, your full field of, uh, field of vision, okay? So one of the things that's really important uh, in the experience of looking through a telescope is the eyepiece's apparent field of view. The broader, the wider it is, the better the experience is. So that you feel closer, um, and for the same magnification, focal length of a telescope, the same magnification, you can see narrow, and they start about 40 degrees, all the way up to like 110, okay? The difference is even greater than 40 to 110 in price, okay? So you're, you're 40 degree, narrow, looking through a straw, looking through a roll of toilet paper, those are inexpensive, those are what comes in your kit. If you buy a telescope kit that has eyepieces in it, that's what you're getting. You're getting inexpensive, still good, they can still be very clear, but not a very good uh, experience, okay? And then if you want those 110 degree wide fields or 100 or 82, uh, it's gonna cost a lot of money, okay? Uh, $700, $800 is not unheard of for a wide field, low magnification eyepiece. Uh, the other ones I tend to give away, uh, but tell you what, let's go someplace a little more appropriate and uh, we'll carry on. You know, apparent field of view at the same magnification means more sky you can see, but really the, and it costs a lot more money for a wide field of view, but here's the, here's the feel. Here's what's different about the field. This is the narrow field of view. This is the one that comes with your kit. And notice you can see the eyepiece, the wall, the eyepiece. So you can't see full sky. You can't look around a lot. If you look around a lot, you're not going to see a whole bunch of sky. So the equipment's part of what you see. And the beauty of the wide field of view it's a bigger ocular lens, so it's really easy to get your eye in there, but you can look around. You do not see the walls of the eyepiece. So essentially, the telescope disappears. You put your eyeball there, and all you see is universe. And that has a completely different visceral feel. So it's really nice to have at least one good eyepiece, and typically I go with the wide field of view, um, and then you can borrow it. Um, but that is where, and you don't need to buy, you know, your $25 one that comes with the kit is not going to be terrible, but you're going to be looking through a telescope. You get something like this, you're going to be in the universe, floating in the sky. And it's really cool if you're looking at the moon. All you see is moon. It's really awesome. You look around. Um, and again, you don't have to spend the, the big money on the 82-degree field of view. You can do something like that, which is, again, I like this. You need It has some limitations, but this was like 170 bucks. Um, it's pretty good. It's not bad. So you can, you can get good value, um, at some of the mid range, the wides versus the ultra wides, but it's really a cool, um, you're paying for the experience and the amount of sky you can see, but it's the experience that the feel is better with the wide apparent field of view.